This is the Blockade Pinball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. Joining me as always, halfway across the world, it's Jared Morgan. Hello, everybody. How are you going? Uh, I don't know. I can't see you right now because I got these goggles I, on my face. <laughs> yeah, I can't see either. Hang on a second. Okay, let's, 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 uh, oh, oh, hey, yeah. there you are. <laughs> So, yes, folks, this is the ah, very, 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 very long in waited overdue. overdue. There we go. Uh, VR episode. <laughs> super, super late adopter curmudgeon VR episode. <laughs> yeah. You know, we, we're not exactly timely on, on everything, right? But, uh, hey, we're going right. to do that. We are going to be talking pinball in VR this entire episode nothing else but just pinball in VR. Um, and we're going to kind of go through the gamut of uh, different hardware, different equipment, uh, different setups, um, just kind of everything. I mean, just so you obviously saw in the beginning, I'm here using a Oculus Rift. Okay. Jared, he's got the new Quest 2. This is the Quest Yes, yeah, that's good. So, um, I mean, that right there is, you know, a slight difference <laughs> mm. in terms of, of about our how many years old? Like the the Rift. Uh, yeah, the Rift is like a three year old device. Oh, uh, is it three or four? Longer. I think it's longer. It's probably longer. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, I mean, obviously, a lot has changed in the VR world since that. Um, this, I got this from a friend of mine. He was an early adopter of these, has been trying to get me into VR for some time. Um, and he has since put this on permanent loan. Well, not permanent, but you know what I mean. Long-term loan to me um, to mm. be able to use. Uh, Jared, on the other hand, just got his Quest 2. Mm, I sure did. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's new this year for me. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, you got a what, right around before or after Christmas? Oh, just before. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So just just got in before they all became unavailable, basically. Right. Because uh, they were... Everyone, literally, I think everyone that I've spoken to of my friends has got a Quest 2 oh, for wow. Christmas. Yeah, okay. it's... It, well, it's a price. Anyhow, we'll go into that. Yes, yeah. So <laughs> that's why... Um, and my experiences with VR are... This isn't my first rodeo with it in terms of experiencing mm. it. Um, and we were kind of discussing this, just the various experiences that we've had through the very iterations. You know, we started off playing pinball in landscape mode. Um, yeah. Just like most of you. Uh, and I don't know about you, Jared. I was on a TV playing it. I wasn't on my computer screen yet. Yeah, um, I've always been on a, on a, on a PC screen. Um, okay. Yeah, never really on a on a TV screen because I I wasn't using console. Like, okay. well, actually, the first time I played pinball was actually on a mobile phone screen. <laughs> I was I was an avid mobile gamer, so I was playing on tablets basically, and the you know, like the Nvidia Shield tablet, which yeah. was by far the best um, of all the tablets. So yeah, with a controller, uh, yeah. So that was my first experience with uh, with pinball. Yeah, and I was on a I was using the PS3, um, playing Zen Two. And one of the cool things about that was that you could actually play Zen 2 in 3D because Sony, when the 3D craze hit, Sony all of a sudden put down the mandate, hey, any new game that's coming out needs to be 3D compatible. And that meant if you were pumping out DLC, your DLC had to be 3D. So Zen and uh, Pinball Arcade both did 3D applications. So this isn't the first time I've played these things in 3D. Um, mm. we're going to touch upon also the two differences just briefly on what those are in 3d, but beyond that, then we both went into playing on our PCs. Um, I had a chance to go up to Farsight, play the, uh, Arcuda cabinet that they had up there with the connect setup, which was doing the parallax 3d. So it wasn't, it wasn't a 3d image, but it was tracking your head. So the, the, the 2D images would shift as you shifted, mm. which was really quite cool. Um, yeah. Especially on certain tables, it was uh, night and day, uh, like a mm. like black hole with that uh, that like lower you, play field. It was you'd actually see into it, right? Like, oh yeah, yeah. No, it yeah. was a huge difference in terms of your eye not bugging out of you know with what it was seeing. Um, 
to then us playing in cabinet mode on our PCs, you know, with the with the uh, the screens rotated, which we are thinking awesome. Um, yeah. To now doing VR, and I'm dying to compare what the VR experience is with playing on a virtual cabinet. Um, yeah, you know, that's the next step. That is like, the next step. It's a missing piece of the puzzle we don't quite have yet. Because what yeah. are we looking for? Ultimately, we're looking for that immersion. We know mm-hmm. it's not real pinball. What's the best way, what's the closest way we can get to feeling like you're playing real pinball? Real pinball, yeah. yeah. And this is a definitely a category where VR does a phenomenal job of getting it's you into it. pretty good. Yeah. Y- yeah. <laughs> it's, it does a very good job. It uh, doesn't really break the illusion that much. No. So, like I said, I mentioned I had played these in 3D before. And so now having messed with the, the, the headset, I did an A-B comparison. When we get into gameplay, that's when I'll be talking about that. But first, mm. let's talk about the hardware. So, like yeah. I said, I'm using a Rift. A Rift has to do the cable. You have to use the cable. Which breaks down into a USB 3.0 that you have to have on your computer and an HDMI, which you have to have on your computer. Now, like my computer here that I'm doing this, I have two monitors set up. One of my monitors uses HDMI. So if I wanted to plug this in, I would have to then disconnect that monitor, which is why I didn't have it. Oh, you lost your audio. I lost my audio. Oh, no, you're back again now. Cool. Okay, that was weird. Um, yeah. And then on top of that, I have to have another USB 3.0 slot to plug in the sensor. And that's yep. not even if I want to bother doing the hand controls, because if I want the hand controls, I have to use another 3.0 USB <laughs> slot to plug that sensor in. So I have to have two sensors set up in that case, plus the headset. I'm wired completely it's rather annoying mm. compare that to jared who well yeah. that's all i need is <laughs> <laughs> that because it doesn't have the cameras on stands it has the cameras all around the unit so yeah. it's all built into the headset very much like the rift s the rift s has this as well um so you don't have to put things up on the ceiling or put things on stands you just put this on and away you go and if you want to play pc vr games you'd still have to have a cable although there is another way around doing that with a um another app that you can install that if you have a good wi-fi connection and um you do a bit of setup you can actually play pc games wirelessly stream through your local wi-fi network um and it works well if you get it set up right if you get set up right. That is one of the factors that has been annoying to me. Getting mm. it set up right. Mm-hmm. Um, what Jared is dealing with is way easier than what I've been dealing with. Cause, it's a piece of cake. Yeah. Yeah. It, it Just getting this thing set up has been a battle uh, on multiple fronts. Like I said, when I first had it set up on my computer here in this office... Uh, it was overriding audio and it wanted to override video and I was losing my second monitor and then plus I had all of a sudden limited space and where can I put the sensors? Because, you know, I've got big monitors in front of me. Where Mm. do you put the sensors? Oh, now you got to put them off to the side, which turns out some of the apps don't like that. (laughs) Um, So Mm. there was that. 